Let's be real, YouTube experiments have given me more injuries than I'd like to count. Some I've treated and others I've completely ignored. But does proper care actually speed up the healing process? To find out, I'll be putting my body on the line once again to show the difference between treating an injury and doing absolutely nothing. As always, don't do what I do. Just watch and learn. Am I ever gonna get a jacket? Wanna sign up for a year of pain? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how this experiment is gonna work. First, we're gonna start with bruises. To make the bruises, we're gonna use the Stinger Tactical Whip on my calves. One of the bruises, I'm gonna do nothing for. The other one, I'm going to elevate ice for two days, and then heat and compression comes in. The second injury is gonna be a burn, more of a road rash. For that, we're gonna be using sandpaper. We're gonna be doing three different burns. One will be nothing, doing nothing for, nothing to help heal. Second will be a bandage that keeps it more hydrated. The third will be more antibiotic bandaged, what have you. I wonder how many people will find this useful. For me, it's like, this would be useful if I heard about it, you know, years ago. Mm -hmm. I think for the average person, it'll be like once in a lifetime. Oh, well, maybe, you know, 16 year old, they get injured and like, yeah, they Google they're... it and you show up. <laughs> yeah. How to heal an injury. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, if I'm not like a authoritative effort on this. I've been injured than most people in the world, I think, at this point. Yeah, I can agree with that. This might be our most scientific video yet. I think so, yeah. I think it's fun. The reason I came up with this idea is because we've been doing so many burn type videos recently and I finally started taking care of myself a little bit more on the injury department. Important. And I realized how much better it is when I actually try to help the injury heal. I think this is Nobel Prize worthy. Well, if I don't win one here, I'm never am, so. I wore the Einstein outfit for you. Thank you. Not because we just filmed a video. No, I just, this has been on for a week. <laughs> <laughs> so let's figure out how to best heal your injury. Ups and salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, actually that was one for the bruises. Huh. Soak in a hot Epsom salt bath. Huh. I've never used a bathtub in my house. Maybe it's time. Oh yeah, I, I filled it up with 20 gallons of milk once. That was at my parents' house. That's your parents' house. They were probably happy when I moved out. <laughs> First whip, I'm loath to say it, but full power. Ooh. Both of them are gonna be full power. Ooh. Center mass of the calf. So let's not get any wraparound action. Mm -hmm. right in the damn middle. Ugh. Is this a good way to position or like, should I stand on it? Whatever is more comfortable for you. None of it's gonna be comfortable, Mark. <laughs> I mean, if you stand, you might fall. Yeah, it's pretty wobbly. Oh, that, that's gonna be so bad. It is. Make sure you get me more in the chunky, meaty part, you know? <sighs> Hit a nerve for sure, yeah. You know, a third way of healing, a hot tub. It's not gonna, ha it's not gonna happen. It's, it's not gonna happen. You're Lots doing... My house, is, my house doesn't even have the hookup. Look at that spot right there with all the weeds. That could be a hot tub. You know, Those are flowers. You know how much faster you could heal from your injuries? You're getting old. You're turning 30 in two days. A hot tub does not add value to the house. It adds value to your to you. You just want to use my damn hot tub. You do too, okay? Make your birthday party a lot more fun. Oh my God. That'd be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> this video gets 25,000 likes. I'll buy a hot tub. What? Woo! That's pretty generous, I think. That's easy money. Don't you dare not like it, I'll be mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, other leg. Let's do the same angle. You may want to stand and have one leg forward or put this leg up there. That'd be like a little circus. I'll try, Mark. Just, just don't buckle. It's this karate kit. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. Okay. <laughs> this sucks every time, dude. Never gets any better. You know what I liked about that whole setup though? How easy it was for me to sit down afterwards. I was a little low on that. Yeah, I know. Okay. I think I was low on the, both of them, so should be fair. God, my legs are so scarred, it's hard to tell. <laughs> hey, uh, Jake, can you zoom in on this? Over on your right hand side, you got some nice bruising accumulating over here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Over on the east side, you might see a little. I think it's a little bit lower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one's on the very bottom of the calf. This one is just a little bit below the calf, but we should have some nice uh, future forecast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to sandpapering. Also, Jake. Oh, no, that's just a, I guess this is, is still yours. So a little piece of chalk for you left over. This is yours. There's a marble somewhere over there too. Another one. Am I your Valentine? Is that coming up or is that, or did we pass that? We passed that, didn't we? I mean, technically, it's still coming up in the future. But... You're right. I haven't missed it yet. Burn type balloons next. I think a good five Mississippi for each of the three burns we're gonna do. 
Let me hear your five Mississippis right now, Mark. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Seems awfully long. <laughs> <laughs> but as long as it's consistent. So my side of my leg has a lot of real estate, three different spots, probably start high, huh? We decide after this where I'm bandaging and whatnot. You got a marker? Got chalk? Yeah. X marks the spot. Okay, square marks the spot. That just seems wrong to me, but. Starting high, working our way down. Five Mississippis, Mark. Go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Yeah, it's a it's a multi-action, huh? You gotta count and rub. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no one's counting. <laughs> Let's do all three. Maybe we'll do a second pass. I'll decide in a second. I will say the sandpaper, even, well, the rope burns were kind of apparent right away because mm -hmm. I was just white. Sandpaper is a little bit uh, more, it's hard to tell how bad it is until you wait until the next day. And then you're like, holy sh this yeah. is looking bad. It seems more tame than usual. Hard to say. Let's uh, work the way down the leg. It's bearable. I can handle this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. You might do a second pass. We'll know at the third one. The longer this one festers, the better. Once we get to here, I can be like, okay, maybe we should touch them all up again. <laughs> you can. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. That one's a bit longer, Mark. Just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, that's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I always make this mistake, but we're gonna do three Mississippis more on each spot. Call her a day. Well, not really call her a day. I'll show you the healing process. Then we call our day. Yeah. Threes. Whenever you're ready, Mark. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Mississippi guy cut off with an oop. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a... Yeah. 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 You might yeah. want to wash that. Yeah. You don't know what I got. I did eat my dog's dewormer and heart, you know, flea medicine the other day. I want a taste of it, you know? What? <laughs> what? So I'm probably good on that stuff. Just to taste it, not by mistake? Well, I, you know, you don't want to feed your dog something that you wouldn't eat. I do that a lot. I'm a better dog owner. All I can say is I don't have fleas or heartworms, so you're probably okay on that. That's probably not blood transmittable, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Injury recovery portion. For my bruises, it's gonna be ice for one of my bruises that will start almost immediately after we stop here. I'm not gonna film all the icing and stuff. You can either take my word for it or not. It'll be fun. But the more interesting portion, which we're gonna show now, is what's happening here. So stage one, I got three burns. Clean them up a bit, all of them. I'll even do the burn that I'm not doing anything for because I'll be honest, I'm taking a shower after this. So that's bound to happen. They were all bled quite a bit. So the way that I'm gonna do this, Neosporin non-stick bandage, bandage that keeps the wound more moisturized. And then this will be nothing. The reason I did nothing on this one is cause it's a little bit large and won't fit all the bandages. First, Neosporin. Neo. Ba -da 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 -da. Q uh, Kung Pao reference. Neosporin right there. Now, something I found out that is key is non-stick bandage. Why non-stick? Well, it's a good question, Mark. Thank you for asking. Because if you stick on the thing, it's gonna peel away the healing and that. You basically rip off the wound every morning when you take it off and that's opening the wound up again. So what I found when I did regular like cloth gauze stuff, I take it off in the morning and it just rips off the whole wound because it dries onto the, the gauze cloth. These non-stick ones are really great on burns specifically because it won't stick to it and it peels off so nice. I'll use your help on this one, Mark. I take it back. <laughs> it's gonna be weird when you wrap around my leg. Old wrap, reach around. The right annoying up. thing about uh, this this method is you gotta replace the tape every day. I recommend cloth tape, sticks a little less hard, rips your hair out a little less. You're a real man, duct tape. <laughs> You're a real man, do nothing. Like I did for years. <laughs> Last thing, I'm gonna show you guys the box. If I hadn't already. The bandage I found recently. Pro Heal. Not antibiotic, as far as I can tell. Not sponsored by Band-Aid, cowards. It's basically a bandage that gives you more hydration to a wound. And the number one thing for burns is keeping it hydrated, which seems counterintuitive. But what happens with burns a lot is they leak. They leak a lot of fluid. And when you do nothing to it, it dries up on you. 
it dries up, it gets crusty, hard, and it's very painful. If you keep it hydrated, it feels so much better. I feel like if you're a high school health teacher, I would listen. Because I'm gonna like, watch this video of me get doing this. <laughs> I know. That's gonna go on the second one right here. Now they say you can replace these every one to two days. I'm probably gonna do it every day. This one right here, nothing's happening to it. I might clean the blood off. That's probably about it. I can't shower now. I put this bandage on. I'll shower tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this will be interesting. This is gonna be a week long process. I will document it all and uh, let you know how you feel. And Mark, you get this week off, but once I figure out the best method of healing, we're gonna test it on you. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Day one of injury recovery. Starting with the bruises on my calves, I decided to ice my left calf opposed to my right one because I thought the left looked a little bit more bruised and I'm very interested to see if I can make that bruise less significant over the coming week. For treatment, I have iced it a total of four times, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, and I also elevated it the entire night that I slept. As of right now, I would say the left still looks a little worse. I will say, as I was sleeping, I would say the pain on my left was a lot better than the pain on my right. However, that isn't really reflecting in how the bruises look currently. So I'm very interested to see if I can make the left calf bruise less significant than the right calf bruise as this week progresses. Moving on to the sandpaper burns, the wound I didn't treat it has already dried up very significantly, almost scabbing up. Definitely hurts by far the worst. The wound I treated with Neosporin and the non-sig bandage, I think looks the best so far, which I'm not too surprised on because I've used this method multiple times in the past with some pretty good success. The most interesting one would be the liquid gel bandage that I used. When I took that bandage off, there was a ton of blood. That thing just seals everything in there. And I think you can see in the data review here that that wound was even bleeding now. So it's still very fresh. Definitely didn't hurt as much as the one I didn't treat, but I'm very curious to see how that will compare to the non-stick Neosporin. I will say, I think we should have went a little bit deeper with the sandpaper. So the injuries would be a little bit more prominent. And I think that would give you guys a better visual representation. But so far, I think it's still going to get the point across. And right now it's healing mostly as I expected, but I'll keep updating you as the week progresses and we will see what happens. Day two of injury recovery. Despite all my icing and elevating, there hasn't been much impact made on the size of my calf bruises. As it stands, my left calf bruise still looks a little larger, but it has been in slightly less pain compared to my right calf bruise. As for the sandpaper burns, the two wounds that I have been treating have yet to scab and are generally healing better, while the wound I haven't treated is now fully scabbed over. Overall, progress has been slow, and I'm interested to see if there's more significant differences in the days to come. It is now day five of injury recovery. Over the past Past three days, I have went from icing and elevating my left calf bruise to heating and compressing it. And as you can see, it hasn't had much positive impact on the size of my bruising. If anything, I think it kind of made the bruise look bigger, but that could have just happened by itself. Despite that, my left calf has been in less pain than my right calf, which I haven't been treating. And I think that is the biggest impact of my treatment so far. The sandpaper burns, however, have seen some major developments over the past few days with the untreated wound looking by far the worst, the neosporin treated wound being slightly scabbed and the gel band-aid wound being almost completely healed. As it stands, I got two more days of documenting my injuries and then I'll give you my final thoughts. It's day seven and my final check-in for my injury recovery. As you can see, both my treated and untreated calf bruises have faded as the week progressed. However, I don't believe my treatments made any significant impact on my left calf bruises appearance, which surprised me a bit. Trying to treat or reduce the appearance of a bruise is something I historically never do because honestly, I like to see a bruise after an experiment. It's kind of good content, but I truly thought between my icing elevation heating and compression, I would have made a larger impact on how the bruised look, but it turns out it just doesn't work that way. At most, my treatments helped reduce some swelling in pain when compared to my untreated calf. I think the biggest takeaway here is you shouldn't expect to make a bruise magically disappear over the course of a few days, even with 
proper treatment. You can help the pain and swelling a bit, but in the end, you just gotta let your body run its natural course of healing. The sandpaper wounds, however, saw significant benefits from my treatments. The neosporin treated wound is mostly healed and only slightly visible. The gel band-aid had the best results with my wound being completely healed and my untreated wound is still scabbed and probably will be for another week. This just goes to show that keeping cuts, scrapes, and burns covered and treated significantly increases the rate in which they heal and reduces any visible scarring. This was a really fun video for me and as someone who doesn't always treat their injuries, I actually learned something that I can use going forward. But with that being said, I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, be sure to join my YouTube memberships or Patreon by clicking the link in the description to get access to bonus content. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one where we find out what hurts open wounds the most. And spoiler, it's not salt. Although salt also doesn't feel good, if I'm being perfectly honest.